Ramanji told me, Chitraji, I don't want the usual Chitraji. I want a different Chitraji in this song. Actually, I didn't take any effort to sing more in Hindi. I was very happy with whatever I was getting in the South. Dailar Mahendi Saab's energy and the throw of his voice, I was nowhere near him. So that was really worrying for me. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rehman Music Sheets. In the last two episodes of Rehman Music Sheets, Chitra spoke about Bombay, Roja, her association with SP Bala Subramaniam and Lata Mangeshkar. Links to these episodes are given in the description. Two years after Bombay, Min Sara Kanavui was released. The film was dubbed in Telugu and Hindi. The film received four national awards. A.R. Rahman for Best Music, Prabhu Deva for Choreography, S.P. Bala Subramaniam and K.S. Chitra for Playback Singing. Ma'am, this song was very different from other songs that you had sung. How did you approach it while recording? Um, everybody knows that I'm, I used to sing very uh, soft, softly and melodious songs only. I used to sing until then. When I came for this recording, he, uh, Ramanji told me, Chitraji, I don't want the usual Chitraji. I want a different Chitraji in this song. And I said, you, you, what, what should I do? I <laughs> then he tried to sing it in open throat. And actually, it was it was very strained. Uh, uh, my voice got strained after that because uh, that ooh la la portion I was singing full throated because uh, every day I have I was having recordings two three recordings every day I was doing and I was scared if I sing this song then I, the next day <laughs> all my I, whether I will have to cancel all my recordings I I was really scared about that also but somehow he wanted me to do that and I tried my best and. Uh, I'm happy that uh, I was recognized for that song. <laughs> when you recorded this song in Hindi and in Telugu, was it a bit easy? Because already I know the song, so it was much more easier for me to sing the other two languages. Only the major portion was the language, uh, my diction in Hindi and Telugu and all, all languages. So my, my concern was more on the diction, on the language. Did it require a lot of hard work to sing Hindi songs as you were born and brought up in Kerala? Actually, in Kerala, uh, it is compulsory to learn Hindi. So, we all have, have learned Hindi to read and write Hindi. We, I, still, I write in Hindi only. All the Hindi songs I write in Hindi. But speaking is a problem because uh, lack of practice. If I, if I stay in Bombay, maybe I would have picked up the language faster. But as I am in, uh, in the South, uh, I am familiar with Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu and Kannada. But not Hindi. Hindi I am familiar. I can read and write. I can understand. But uh, speaking was a problem for me. And I usually get problem with a few words in Hindi. Like Khushbu. I always get problem in the pronunciation. And Sama. So these two words always people correct me, keep on correcting me. <laughs> but you also sang for films in Bangla and Odia. How did you manage those languages? When I sing for other languages like Bengali, Odia and all, I used to uh, look at their mouth and I was I watch carefully how they are pronouncing, pronouncing and I use my own sign language, <laughs> my own language for uh, some signs to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> And you have been singing for Hindi films since 1991 and you have sung some iconic songs. Uh, did you reach out to Hindi film music composers or they contacted you? How did this happen? Whatever songs I have sung is all, uh, they called me. Because I didn't have anybody in Bombay to recommend for me or anything. Actually, I didn't take any effort to sing more in Hindi. I was very happy with, with whatever I was getting in the South. So whenever they approach me for a song, I go there, sing and I come back on the same day itself. Mostly I don't even stay there in uh, Bombay. Sindhu Bhairavi 
released in 1986 composed by Ilya Raja was the film that won Chitra her first national award her second and third national awards were for films composed by Ravi who had created timeless music for hindi films too Minsara Karnavui composed by A R Rahman won Chitra her fourth national award and then it was Virasat composed by Annu Malik and she won her sixth national award for autograph composed by Bharatwaj Mem all these composers are so unique in their thought processes compositions and working styles I wonder how challenging it was for you to sing their songs with so much of perfection uh each music directors have their own style and uh, when we go for the recording we really don't know what type of song we are going to sing there so it is everything is an experiment and when we go there they'll teach us the song and then they'll uh, tell us what the situation is and we have to we have to uh, accommodate our voice and our, our singing to that particular situation so it is every day it's a challenge only but uh, Uh, we have to do we have no other choice so when you go there if it is what type of song we don't we have to sing when after going there so uh, i totally depend on the music director uh, who 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 describes to me ab- about the song and the situation and everything i depend on the music director basically <laughs> ma'am much before you started singing with mr ilya raja you did stage shows with mr yasudas can you share some of your memories of that period Jeshdas ji was was my mentor i have to tell you i started singing stage shows with him and then later on with spb sir hari haran ji um, ila raja sir ar raman ji for with all the legendary singers and music directors i i was fortunate enough to work with all of them and i have learned lot of things from him uh, jeshdas ji especially was very strict in his diet and uh, the dedication he has so my initial training was from jeshdas ji he used to teach me while uh, we were traveling and uh, when we don't have any concert for one or, one or two days he he always carries uh, tyagaraja swami's books book with him and he learn a new kirtana and he always says when somebody when i teach that to somebody it will get registered to his brain more faster so uh, he used to teach me also now when then whenever he gets time and he's free ma'am in tamil films you made your mark under the direction of mr elia raja Yes. How did this association start? Actually, I sang for a Malayalam movie uh, directed by Fasil sir, and that movie was remade in Tamil. That is, uh, that was called Puve Puchudava. Actually, uh, Nadia Moidu actress, she uh, she has that was her first movie. And when Nilaraja sir uh, saw the movie, he said, "Who's the voice?" Uh, she was also young, and I was also very young. so then he said that, that voice uh, 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 matches with the uh, actress so can we do the make the same singer sing the song and then when uh, fasil sir called me and, and asked me to go and visit raja sir when you, when you go for the next time and he wants to check my range so i was really very tense and scared to uh, go to raja sir and then he called me and he asked me to sing a, sing something i sang a kirtana Uh, then he said uh, yeah uh, he pointed out a few mistakes which i has done in, i have done in that uh, kirtana and then he said all the best he didn't say he like it or not so i just uh, came out the next day he called me for another recording uh, which was called needana and the quail a duet song along with uh, ganga amaran sir so from that day onwards i started working with raja sir so many songs Ma'am, do you find any difference in approach or working styles in Tamil cinema and Hindi cinema? Uh, what has been your experience with Hindi film music composers? Say, with Mr. Anu Malik, you sang his compositions in Virasat, Ashoka, and Main Prem Ki Diwani Hoon. Um, Anu Malik ji is a very, uh, very nice person and a very good music director. Actually, for Ashoka. Uh, while uh, that recording was supposed to happen i had a fall and i was on uh, plaster so i couldn't go to bombay so they he came all the way to chennai to record that song in my studio and we rat ka nasha we recorded it there and then after that uh, for mai prem ki diwani hu the whole team came here 2 3 days before the recording 
they came to my house they had uh, lunch here and discussed the, about the whole movie and he uh, uh, disc- uh, described me about all the situations where each and every songs comes and uh, that that was also a new experience for me because here nobody does all those things only when you go to the studio we will get we will get to know the situation and the song but uh, for this they came all the way f- a few days before the recording and described the whole thing for me and then they went back and then came fresh for the recording you sounded very different in ashoka did you like those songs while singing <laughs> it was nice that actually that was a, a, a peculiar song uh, which i have not sung uh, i have sung a few but not lot a little bit sensuous song <laughs> i was little hesitant in the beginning but after that i i had to do it so i, I did it <laughs> I just cannot resist. You have to sing few lines of this song. Raat ka nasha bhi aakh se gaya nahi aap ka Sorry, Raat ka nasha, sorry, sorry, once again. I have to look at the lyrics. Nasha bhi aakh se Can I just look at my lyrics once? Hmm Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. रात का नशा भी आग से गया नहीं रात का नशा भी आग से गया नहीं तेरा नशीला बदन बाहुलित सॉरी ड्रिंक वाटर रात का नशा भी आँख से गया नहीं रात का नशा भी आँख से गया नहीं तेरा नशीला बदन बाहों ने छोड़ा नहीं आँखें तो खोली मगर सपना वो तोड़ा नहीं हाँ वही वही सांसों पे रखा हुआ तेरे होठों का सपना अभी है वहाँ ओ रात का नशा भी आँख से गया नहीं रात का नशा भी आँख से गया नहीं थोड़ी सी धूल मेरी धरती की मेरे वतन की Rang De Basanti, the blockbuster film of 2006. For its music, A.R. Rahman received Filmfare, Z Cine Award and IFA. For its title track, A.R. Rahman presented a rather unusual pairing, K.S. Chitra with Dalair Mehndi. I have never met him. Uh, I sang only my portion uh, in that song. <laughs> I didn't know who was going to sing with me, and all all details I know I knew only later. It was a very unusual pairing of singers. How did you find the song when the final tracks were released? Uh, that was also a very energetic and powerful song, uh, but I was very scared to sing on stage because range is too high. and uh, you know dailar mahendi sahab's uh, energy and the throw of his voice i was nowhere near him <laughs> so that was uh, really worrying for me oh he is going to sing so uh, how will i sound i was little worried about that but all went well by god's grace <laughs> if you were to analyze and evaluate what is the most surprising thing that you find in the music of mr a r rahman 
the most surprising thing is uh, he all his songs has lot of melody and uh, the power to make youngsters sit uh, stand and dance uh, and it goes inside so that is the magic for each and every feeling there will be a very beautiful song which is like udaya udaya ularheen that is a beautiful melody and then the recent one uh, um, nani varheen teena that song also something different no so all the youngsters when we go for the reality shows and everything they all sing all these songs and i also get to listen and learn all the all those songs because when i when i need to talk about that song i have to learn the song first no <laughs> so so i am listening to lot of his different 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 compositions the fact that mr rahman's music is celebrated across the globe does it bring some kind of a joy pride to the artist community definitely because i i feel very proud that i also come from the same uh, region where emman ji is uh, working and uh, we as an indian we all feel proud feel proud that he has made our name he has brought our name to the uh, music in the music industry to the in, international level Tum To talk about some of our other iconic songs composed by A R Rahman, K S Chitra will continue with us in next episode. Stay with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon, and stay entertained.